The Baraboo Syncline, presented by Emily Scheller. The Baraboo Syncline is located in both Sauk and Columbia County, Wisconsin, between Portage, Wisconsin to the east and Loganville, Wisconsin to the west. Baraboo, Wisconsin is located approximately central to the syncline along its axis. A syncline is a geological feature where compressional forces cause rocks to fold. The U-shaped portion of the fold is called a syncline. In contrast, the part of the fold that looks like an upside-down U is called an anticline. The Baraboo syncline also plunges toward the east with varying degrees of dip and strike. Because the syncline strike, dip direction of fold, varies, the syncline is considered to be doubling plunging. The degree of dip is more vertical on the northern limb of the syncline. There are also overturned beds in the central northern portion of the limb. Scientists believe that around 1.6 to 1.7 billion years ago during the Mazatal orogeny, a period of mountain building, a continental collision occurred between the Mazatal province and Yavapai province. The Mazatal province was an island arc that slammed into the Yavapai province. This collision resulted in the formation of volcanoes and earthquakes due to subduction and compressional forces. The compressional forces caused the folding of rocks north of the suture zone, which is this collision zone that's indicated on this, the figure. Folding is when you have flat line sedimentary rocks or other rocks that bend upwards or downwards. The rocks that make up the Baraboo syncline were formed from sedimentary rocks that were most likely deposited from the erosion of the Pinocchian mountain chain. The folding of the sedimentary rocks that form the Baraboo syncline were located approximately 120 kilometers north of where the collision took place, and this is also indicated on the figure. The Mazatals province, also known as an island arc, slowly moved towards the Yavapai province until it eventually collided. The collision of the island arc and continent are not shown due to the rock structure present between the two. The rock structure between the two represents how a syncline is formed. A syncline is formed due to compression. This movie demonstrates the formation of compressional forces that form from the collision of, island arc, of an island arc into a continent. It is not an exact representation of what occurred to form the Baraboo syncline because the folding actually occurred behind the continent or north of the collision. However, this demonstration shows how compressional forces from plate collision can cause rocks to fold. Two pieces of evidence of the Baraboo syncline are Van Hise Rock and the vertical beach at Abelman's Gorge. Both of these rock structures are located in Rock Springs, Wisconsin. Van Hise Rock is Precambrian rock that stands 14 feet high and 6 feet wide. This rock structure was named after the famous 19th century geologist Charles Richard Van Hise. From this rock structure, Charles Richard Van Hise explained how compressional forces caused mountain building, rock deformation, and metamorphism. This rock was a key factor in our early understanding of structural geology. The layers of bedding of the syncline have been highlighted with a line. The line shows the layers of rock being nearly vertical. The lighter rock unit on the right was originally sandstone and is now formed into quartzite. The darker rock unit on the left most likely began as gray wacky, which is also known as dirty sandstone, and was metamorphosed during the compressional forces forming into phyllite. The sandstone, which is now quartzite, used to sit on top of the gray wacky, which is now phyllite. Just a short walk southwest of Van Hise Rock is a vertical beach. Here we also see evidence of the syncline. The vertical beach is a rock structure that is composed of quartzite, but was previously sandstone. At one time, it was similar to a tropical sandy beach with wavy ripples from ocean waves. Over time, the rock was forced upwards and now sits vertically. Remnant ripple marks are still present on the quartzite, indicating that during this time period, shallow oceans were present. Another unique feature associated with the syncline is Devil's Lake. Its formation will be discussed in my next video.